Martyrs Quadratus, Quadratus, and those with him, 258. In a time of persecution of Christians, many of the faithful fled to the mountains and caves. The mother of this Quadratus did so. She was pregnant at that time, and gave birth to Quadratus in a forest, dying almost at once. He was kept safe and fed by the providence of God and his guardian angel. Quadratus grew up in solitude with nature. He who gave manna from heaven to the Israelites in the wilderness released a sweet dew from a cloud onto the mouth of the child Quadratus. When he was twelve years old, he went down to the town, and there some good people took a fancy to him and educated him. He studied medicine and then began to heal the sick, using both natural medicines and, more importantly, the spiritual power and prayer which had been with him from childhood. When a new persecution arose under Decius, Quadratus was taken for trial and thrown into prison. Five of his friends stood beside him and confessed the name of Christ. They were Cyprian, Dionysus, Anectus, Paul and Crescens. They were all dragged through the streets and struck with sticks and stones by the unbelievers, especially by the children, until they arrived at the scaffold. Here the martyrs prayed to God and were beheaded with the sword. A spring of water gushed out onto the earth at the spot, which to this day is called by Quadratus's name and commemorates the heroic death for Christ of the Holy Six. They suffered with honor for the truth in Corinth in the year 250, in the time of the emperor Decius and his governor Jason. Prologue